Hey there, I hope this video finds you well. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a DIY haircut tutorial, as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title. What we're gonna be doing is, actually, let me stop right there. This is essentially how the channel started, was from DIY haircuts, but we haven't done a proper haircut, DIY haircut, since 2019 on here. We've done some beard trims and cleanups and whatnot, but not a proper haircut. So yes, it, I'm glad to be taking, taking us back to our roots. Now, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be emulating the character Butcher from The Boys, his haircut, uh, reason being Halloween is coming up, he has a beard, I have a beard, why not? And for those of you that are maybe looking, might be looking for an easy DIY short hair men's haircut, this could definitely come in handy for you. So let's do this. Now, when we take a look at Butcher's haircut, it looks like there's about two to two and a half inches of length up top, and it's very symmetric. And when we get to the sides, it's about, looks around a half inch to an inch of length on the side. So that's good for us being, but that that's pretty much where we are right now. So the main spot, place of concern is gonna be up here. I have a lot of weight on the front of my hair and it's also on one side and that was purposeful to make sure that my hair lays flat when styling. Now, going further into this, this right here, definitely a lot's gonna have to come off probably around an inch and a half to two inches. But when we get to the back, it's not as long back there, but the symmetry is off. So. Again, we're gonna to have to really focus on making the weight of the hair all symmetric so that we can properly emulate Butcher's style. And we're going to use a pair of scissors today, nothing fancy. These are scissors from the Beard Struggle, super basic. And I wanna use these scissors so that we have some, some sort of texture, again, to emulate Butcher's style, being if we use clippers, that would definitely lack that texture aspect if that makes sense. So this right here, very long. We have to shorten that up for sure. All right, and what I'm doing is, it's really simple as far as technique, grabbing it between my fingers and going straight across, as opposed to having it round, which is how my hair was essentially styled and cut was to have a smooth transition, kind of like a, a dome shape, if you will, but I want to have more of a square look for this to properly emulate um, this haircut. And I'm not sure if you can tell or not, but a lot of that extra weight that was right up here is now it's pretty much gone and is relatively even to the other side. Still have a little ways to go though. Straight across. Here, I'll give you an example of what I'm doing for this cut. So I just go through my, my fingers, twist it, and just cut straight across. And I'm just going for a somewhat even cut, again, all the way across. So twisting. And generally the same length all throughout the top of my hair. Okay, now that we have a pretty good overall length on top, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these shears. Now again, these are just normal shears. They're not specialized thinning shears. And what I'm gonna to do to add texture is I'm going to grab the hair and I'm kind of going to point down and cut just at random spots, just pretty much freehand this. And what that's going to do is that's going to add that desired texture that we want for this haircut because my hair, it's, it's pretty darn thick and straight. So we need all the help that we can get when it comes to giving it that, that kind of full texturized look that Butcher has. So we're gonna do that right now. So grabbing from the top and just more or less just free handing it, being careful not to take off too much. And this will definitely, you'll be able to tell the difference just by looking at it when it's dry, but then when we go ahead and we blow dry and add product, it'll help it stand out even more. Okay. And again, this is just simply to add texture. Hopefully you can see this all right. I'm trying to awkwardly dip down so you can see what exactly I'm doing. 
something else in regard to Butcher's overall look. His beard line, the cheek line, comes down quite a bit. I'm not going to do that, but what I'm going to do is his is relatively clean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this safety razor right here. And this is also from the beard struggle. I think it's called the Sayx razor. Uh, nonetheless, I'm just going to simply clean up the cheek lines. But I'm not going to bring them down again. I'm not going to bring them down super crazy low like butchers are. Okay. At least intentionally, I'm not. So we're just getting that side. Just a super quick little, little cleanup. All right. Really simple right there. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna blow dry the hair and we're gonna put some product in and we are gonna see what we're working with. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm really focusing on this fringe up on the front because I don't want it going over to the side. I want it more so going back. So that's what we're gonna to try to work on right now. I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing or not, but I'm putting the brush in, in the fringe, curling it back, and then heating it up and hoping that it will set back, curling back towards the back of my head as opposed to going over to the side because that's more so what we're going for right now. All right, I think that's just about all the time we're gonna spend on trying to get this to set back. Hopefully that was long enough. Now we're gonna put the product in. Dapper Dan matte finish paste. I think this is high hold, low shine. My buddy from the UK gave me some of this when I went over there. It's very soft and, uh, and pliable. I'm not really sure you can tell that or not just by looking at it, but very soft and very pliable. So I'm just gonna put it in my hands, rub it around. And kind of just rub it through the hair, see what we're working with. If I spend a little more time on the front, I think we'll really get it nailed down. But for now, this is looking really darn good. I mean, at least I think so. Let's see here, full 360, not really a whole lot going on in the back. But it's more so up here, we're going for that that full kind of just messy look with a bit of texture to it. I'm not sure if you can tell, tell the texture or not, but this is actually really, I think it looks pretty darn good. Let me know what you think. On a scale of one to 10, did we, how did we do? Let me know. After Halloween, November, there's gonna be another haircut that we're doing and then also January 1st, we're gonna be doing a big one and I'm sure a lot of you are gonna like that one. But yeah, until the next one, peace! We out.